Hello everybody. Today we will learn various uh, ways of searching in a Python list. Let us suppose if you want to out for a particular item in the list. So what all ways we can? So this particular uh, this video is particularly for searching an item in the list, or you may uh, you can search in the list as well, the uh, string as well. So both way you have got various ways of doing for that so the first one is i have made some program the first one is here list search dot i in this one i have you know i am getting input from user uh, for marks and some uh, you know marks have been written in the list and now i am trying to find out uh, you know the entered marks in the list for that one what i have done i am using here Accessing the element by index number. Accessing the list in uh, list uh, item uh, name by index number. So this is one. So how I am doing it? I have just i in range. I am finding the total length of the string. Please keep in mind. I am trying to find the total length of the string. Or either here I am using list, so it is a list. So the loop will go go on, and then. And then I have applied check in the very next line if int whatsoever item is in the list int list i equal to equal to one. If it is equal to that, then before that here I have set my font as zero, but here I have uh, set it, it as one. That means the value of found has been that means it is found. So now this loop will go on one time, two time, many times will go on up till the list items are there. So when these will get exhausted, then it will loop will come out of it, and here it will check out for the value of found. And if found is greater than zero, that means that uh, item, the marks uh, whatsoever you were finding out, that has been uh, that has found, and that's why. Here it will be displaying print found means this statement will be printed and output will be found and um, otherwise it will be showing you print not found if it is it remain if it remains zero if it remains so this way this is the one uh, way of searching by index number and you here you are finding the length of the list as well. This one. Now let us move to second one. Now in the second one, here we have got a list again. I have written some names here: reflection, image, mirror, focus, focal length. Uh, sorry, front of uh, other side, principal axis, infinite, like this. I have written. I have written one list here. Now again, I am finding an element. Finding one uh, element from the list. Here, user will enter it and input enter a word to search. So now that will be assigned it to find again in the next line. I am putting found equal to zero. Then I am doing the same thing, but this time it is not by index number, rather it is accessing, uh, rather it is, uh, you know, the i is rotating in the list object, rotating in the list, list object one by one, one by one. And and if uh, i i because you know i is representing one element here like this this one right now this 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 like this when it is x when it is equal to this i is equal to fine then the found will become one now again this loop will go up here i will move to next item that is image and then it will come down in the next one and i will begin as dog will be fine if it is found again it will be showing this uh, found equal to one and this will go on but in the next one if it is not found then it will again come here this will be not true it will go back again the next element the next element the next element so found has been set one that means when the loop will come out of it here in this line we are checking it out the found value has changed from 0 to 1 if it has changed that means again it has 
the item which you which you looked out for searching in the list that has found and that means your this line will get executed and found will be uh, okay. But in other case, if it does not move inside of this particular part, so in that case, else will be uh, you know executed. Print not found will be appearing on your. So here in this case, we are uh, using i as a iterator. Use, using i as a iterator, and it is moving to uh, up till to the end of the list. And that, uh, as as I said, it is representing one element, and it, then that element is being matched with the with the find uh, with the find that has been assigned by user input okay please so this is second one let us move to third and the third one the third one so first one was index and second one was is by iterator and the third one is the third one is we are doing the same thing here but in this case we have used simplest way that simplest way is Directly the check is being made to the whole list. Directly the check is being made to the whole list, and here you can say in is being used as a membership operator and find that you are trying to find and list is your collection of your uh, words, collection of your uh, name of words whatsoever you have given there. And now if find in list means that is true if true then this will be printed and otherwise if it's not there then it will be like not found like this this is the third way here you are using directly you are directly uh, checking your input with the object so that means by using a membership operator you are and your third way now one more so these are the ways through which we can search out in the list but now in the very next one this is the fourth one and here i will again try out search i will again try to find out search but it will be string search so let us see that string search string search is one dot by is here now you can see string search one dot pi. So string one string search on what we are doing. We have again one string which is having uh, some text in it. So here it is a line. It is one statement in which some words are written. Now when string is having some data in it, then we are trying to look into it. So how we will do, do that? Here I am uh, getting input from the user, and then we are assigning that input to the loop, and that loop is being uh, you know being used as a parameter. And here string dot find loop, so loop is being is uh, being looked on in the str, and if it is looked means found, then it will be showing position of that word. Or uh, whatever you have entered of that, and then here found at position number this will be displayed. Otherwise, it will it will not give you any value here. So if it is found, then it will be do it. So in the string, we can find out with the help of find function of uh, you know of any uh, find function uh, can be used to find in a string or in a big big paragraph even in a file as well so this is the third thing where which uh, can be used to search something on a on a given or data so these are the four ways three were in the list and this is the fourth one in a string these are very important time to time you will be required for searching something so thank you very much for seeing this please